During the late Permian the southern Russia were defined as a cold desert dominated by fluvial deposits. It was deposited in a seasonal, semi-arid to arid area with multiple shallow water lakes which was periodically flooded. On the other hand, ferns were relatively rare and sphenophytes were only locally present. There are also hydrophyte and halophyte plants in coastal areas as well as conifers that are more resistant to drought and higher altitudes. Scutosaurus was a massively built reptile, with bony armor, and a number of spikes decorating its skull. Despite its relatively small size, it was heavy, and its short legs meant that it could not move at speed for long periods of time, which made it vulnerable to attack by large predators. To defend itself Scutosaurus had a thick skeleton covered with powerful muscles, especially in the neck region. As a plant eater living in a semi-arid climate, including deserts, it would have wandered widely for a long time in order to find fresh foliage to eat. It may have stuck closely to the riverbanks and floodplains where plant life would have been more abundant, straying further afield only during times of drought. It has been shown to have had a fast initial growth rate, with cyclical growth intervals. Probernicia had bizarre bumps and protrusions on its skull. It has a 20 cm skull, and a total length up to 2 meters. Gorgonopsians were a group of carnivorous stem mammals with saber teeth that disappeared at the end of the Permian. Phylogenetic analysis has found Viatkagorgon to be one of the earliest diverging Gorgonopsians. It would have been skeletally robust with a somewhat dog-like stance, though with outwards turned elbows. The snout was high, and the teeth were generally recurved, pointed, and serrated. It was distinct from other Gorgonopsians in that the lower end of the postorbital bar was narrow, and it had a very large sulcus at the back of the skull on each side. Like most other Gorgonopsians, Inostrancevia had a particularly large jaw opening angle, which would have allowed to deliver fatal bites. These features make it one of the most specialized apex predators tetrapods of the Paleozoic. It is the combination of the teeth and skull mounted on a powerful body that may have been the key to defeating the armor of such prey. The name Ea titanosuchus is a bit of a misnomer since this animal was actually a therapsid, not a crocodile. It would have been predators of other Permian era animals, though the smaller than usual temple opening, hole behind the eyes seen in the skull, indicates that it did not have a bite as strong as other predators of the time. It has been suggested that Estemonosuchus had a fairly constant internal temperature. Its large size and compact build gave a small surface-to-volume ratio and suggests it would not gain temperature quickly. This phenomenon is called gigantothermy and was probably an important factor in temperature regulation in most therapsids. Its skin was described as being glandular like that of a hairless mammal or a frog. As one of the earliest cynodonts, Prosinosuchus has many primitive features, but it also has features that distinguish it from all other early therapsids. Some of these features were interpreted as adaptations for a semi-aquatic lifestyle. For example, the wide zygapophyses of the vertebrae allow for a high degree of lateral flexibility, and Prosinosuchus may have used anguilliform locomotion, or eel-like undulation, to swim through the water.
Dvinia was a small omnivore possessing a large temporal opening typical of advanced therapsids, with a thin postorbital bar separating the eye from the muscle attachment. As a cynodont, it was closely related to mammals. The Dongas Formation is a Middle Triassic geological formation that crops out on the right bank of Dongas River in Orenburg Oblast, in Russia. It is a nature monument, a natural monument is a natural feature of outstanding or unique value because of its inherent rarity or quality. The Russian framework for Triassic biostratigraphy is large based on temis bundles, in contrast to the South African assemblage zones, which are largely based on amniotes. Ariosuchus is among the taxa used to make regional correlations given its relatively common occurrence in Russia. Plagiosaurids are believed to have lived an almost entirely aquatic lifestyle. The large orbits of plagiosaurids have only been extensively analyzed in a single study which put forth two plausible eye structures. According to this study, because of their incredibly flat and vertically compressed skulls, it is unlikely that the eyes actually filled the space of the group's large orbits because the eyes would permanently protrude into at least part of the palate. Jushkovisaurus represent probably a valid non-archosaurian archosauriform. Sarmatosuchus is another extinct genus of archosauriform reptile found in sediments of Middle Triassic age and known from the single species Sarmatosuchus achevi. It is one of the earliest stem archosaur species known. Jushateria was reassigned as an indeterminate archosaur on the basis of the presence of an antorbital fossa on the lateral surface of the maxilla. Dorosuchus was considered to be a relative of Euparcharide Euparcharia based on the features of the limbs and pelvic girdle. Most specimens are known from a single block of siltstone.
Nothogomphodon was unusual among Therocephalians for its sectorial dentition, a feature it shared with Cynodonts and which would have allowed it to shear meat more effectively. Canamyria was well adapted to living as an herbivore. It had a powerful beak and strong jaw muscles built for shearing plant material. Canamyria had a massive head with unusually large openings for the eyes, nostrils, and jaw muscles. It evidently tore up roots, stripped leaves from the vegetation with its horny break, and ground them up with its toothless jaws. Rabbitosaurus had a large head. It was lightweight due to the size of the eye sockets and nasal cavity. It also had limb girdles which formed massive plates of bone that helped support its heavily built body. The Bucobase Vita is another Middle Triassic geological. It is composed primarily of red or gray lacustrine sediments, reconstructing a humid and marshy depositional environment. Bucobay is the youngest section of a Triassic terrestrial succession exposed south of the Ural Mountains. Cyclotosaurus are thought to have been semi-aquatic carnivores, though feeding strategies likely differed between species. The marked reduction of the limbs, the strong tail and sensory grooves on the head called sulci show that Mastodonsaurus was an aquatic animal that rarely, if ever, ventured on land. Mastodonsaurus may have been completely unable to leave the water, as large quantities of bones have been found that suggest individuals died en masse when pools dried up during times of drought. Elephantosaurus is an extinct genus of Dicynodont. The holotype and only known specimen is a fragment of the skull. The bones of the skull roof are also unusually thick. <laughs> 